Hey, Coach, thanks for hitting me back up. I really appreciate it. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. Hey, I just had a few questions for you, and I wanted to start with how you prepare your group to get ready for a game every week. You know, honestly, Catherine, it, it's so much about organization. Technology plays a huge role in our preparation because it makes it so much more convenient, and it allows us the opportunity to take a large amount of information and get it down to where it's presentable. And uh, we can get through meetings quicker, PowerPoint presentations, different things that allow us to be better teachers and better communicators as coaches. We have so much to cover, so much to talk about in preparation for your opponent. And we wanna make sure that every minute counts by having an organized schedule to get ready for a Sunday game. And you have a tough job yourself. I'm pretty sure you guys have a format to it, right? Yeah, we do. It's kind of like our own little playbook, Coach. Let me show you exactly what it looks like here. And every single second of our entire show is accounted for. I mean, it is pretty busy on our normal nights on television. Wow. We would be nowhere without it. No question about it. You know how that life is. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, how much can you break down a play in real time and make the adjustments that you need to make? Right, that's a great question because it's all about getting real information. And we were looking for technology that can keep up with the speed of the game. We put in so many plays during the week of practice that you're gonna make mistakes. But it's been great to have a tool that gives us that opportunity to make corrections as we go in real time, as fast as the game is going. Yeah, that technology didn't exist nearly 20 years ago when you were playing the game at the college level and then later in the pros as well. <laughs> How long did it take you to acclimate to all the technology you use these days? It didn't take long at all because <laughs> the old overhead projectors and writing with the old markers and <laughs> do all that stuff, it took forever. I remember sitting in those meetings, but I adapted pretty quickly because if you don't adapt, you get passed by and technology helps us so much today uh, being more efficient. Coach, gone are the days where you have to be in those meeting rooms together. How does technology allow you to get one-on-one -on -one with your players? Uh, it allows me an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with the player after he's made a mistake, take a step back, draw it up, make that correction, and go out and do it the way we're supposed to do it. One last thing, Coach. You're a wide receivers coach, but you are a legendary quarterback from your playing days in college. Do these guys even want to listen to a quarterback in the room? <laughs> you know what, Catherine? I take a lot of heat because of that, too. Because being a former quarterback, every receiver is open on every play. But it's just one football. <laughs> so we have a lot of fun with it. Ultimately, we get down to business because I give them a different perspective with that quarterback-receiver relationship. I love that. That's great stuff. Coach, thanks so much. I know every second of game week counts for you, so I'm going to let you go. But it's been fun chatting with you, and good to see you. I had a great time. Thanks for having me, Catherine. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.